crispy. It's deep fried. An iron plate in the floor is carved with three curious circles. Dried splashes have marred its pockmarked and worn surface. Okay. Let's grab the tablet. Magical codex. Amongst the books on the table rests an ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. <laughs> wow. Enchant item spell scroll. This allows the player to cast spells that have been found or researched. Selecting this allows the player to assign their most used spells to a button. Cool. Through this function, the player can examine the contents of each spell scroll. So now we can figure out what the enchantment does. Torn scroll illustrated with a geometric symbol is accompanied by a small note. That which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. Spell requires the Antorboke and Magormor runes. I know. I, To be honest, I put a lot of time into photoshopping that. I was pretty, pretty proud. So... Spells can be cast directly from this book section or assigned with quick spell buttons, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, we have a meter. Maybe we couldn't, maybe our spell didn't do anything because we did it earlier than they expected. You got to admit, that was a pretty funny meme, though. The meter represents character's magical energy. When a spell is cast, the level will get lower. The meter regenerates whenever the character is in motion. All right, let's cast this bitch. The fuck? It said it would re repair shit. Or... What? Perhaps it could be repaired? Yeah, it is kind of weird that... Uh, <laughs> it is niche. Seething pit, iniquity and evil. Religious texts of an unspeakable nature, written in languages utterable only by monsters or corrupt humans. So why is this not repairing my shit? Let's go back to it. Spell list. Check. Blah, 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 blah. That which is broken shall be fixed. Let's cast it on the air. Okay. I guess it just didn't want me. Why is that not working? I'm so fucking confused. What if we do up? Yeah, when we go and cast it from the menu, it works. Whoops. Is it because I moved? I think it's because I moved during the cast. That's what they said with the necklace. Is it? It said try not to move or whatever. I think our urns need to have water in them. Or do we need to set them here? Yeah, I think they need water. Although, they're, although the urn appears to sit correctly in place on the pressure plate. It does not appear to be heavy enough. Fuck you. Alright, let's not fumble this and bust it again. <laughs> Please, Anthony. I'm fucking begging you. Dunking the urn into the foul-smelling fountain, it becomes filled to the brim with rank fluid. It is a lot heavier now and rife with fetter. Who fucking wrote for this game? Crazy. The vocab's just making me... Making me gasm here. Rank, dank. I love it all.
All right. Put them all down. And the red one. There we go. Not too crazy of a puzzle, but. So can we, what if we. We stand still. Oh shit. Okay. Yes. The problem was that we were moving. Well, damn, we got the fucking. The dank weapon. Axiom Verge 2. That's your problem. You you bought too many LRG games. Dude, some of the texture work is crazy in this game. Dude's like bleeding from his eyes and shit. All right, you motherfucker. Eat my enchanted sword. Always go for the head. Oh my lord. Cleave the head. Cleave the head. <laughs> Fuck you. We got a key. Fuck you. And fuck you. I gotta say, I do like having... Wait, when I get a gun later, can I get like enchanted shotgun? That'd be fucking amazing. Bishop's key. The fuck is that? Is that like a bug crawling down? A shrine to a god that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. I got my bug fables. That's all I needed. All right, we have the bishop's key. We can now get into that room. Dude, we're going to be a fucking ghoul bursting into the room. Charlemagne's going to see us and instantly kill us. Oh shit, we're getting fucked up in this hallway here. Dark Souls time. Oh, is it because you uh, ordered something that shipped later? Bug Fable is a pretty cute game. Dude, this sword is nutty. <laughs> we're just like off with the head, off with the rest of your torso. Goodbye. You look gross. Doom Classics. The hell is that? What is that? Like a bone scorpion? Oh shit. Uh, well. We're gone. What is this? Like a sorry game board. He played Doom 3? Everyone hates that one. Trapper Dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast, and humans are subjected to odd phenomena. The portals cycle from color to color as time progresses, and only the quick will escape. Uh, I don't... Oh, purple is the way out, right? I heard it's not as bad as everyone was... Notoriously bitching about way back in the day. Can I have purple again, please? I guess blue's good enough. There's a purple portal up there. Oh, we can't use magic. We can't get our enchantment back. So what is this? What are you? Oh, that's magic restoration. I haven't played much Doom. I really should. I saw that. It looks pretty cute. All right. Just a little detour. Not a big deal. There we go. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. Please don't touch me. Don't run into me. 
Ah, okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch them. So what you're saying is I should get a physical copy. Fuck, man. How can I lose sanity when I'm literally just cleaving guys in half? That would make me the most sane. How good is the game? Is it like good, good? I didn't watch too much gameplay of it. It looked cute though. Or both. It's difficult to make out any detail. All right, we'll pull the fucking torch out. I don't think we need to investigate any of that anyway. We're going to be like a real full-on skeleton. Yep, there goes our flesh. The light is actually like bothering him, so let's <laughs> turn that off. Look at this. We even have like a different walk animation. This is amazing. They put so much fucking work into this game. Like we're even dragging our leg now. He was blinded by the light from our own torch. Oh my fucking god, what? Can I just go down the stairs? I don't... Oh. They thought of that, but we can't just jump the railing. Ow. Holy shit. Alright, we cut off its head? I, I guess? Oh, we're like super insane. It's face? I don't know what we cut off. Yeah, we could have just jumped the railing there, but that's fine. Charlemagne is not going to be happy to see us right now. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you. I got to say the enchanted two-handed sword is pretty fun to use. <laughs> Cleaving guys in half. Charlemagne, someone's trying to kill you. Do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask, Charlemagne? Okay, maybe Anthony's voice acting is not great. <laughs> Is that the Colonel from Metal Gear Solid? Fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you. No. Power of Holy shit, man. This game is pretty fucking wild. Okay, now do we get to explore the mansion a little bit? Or are they going to drop another page on me right away? Kind of curious here. Let's save. So we do still have the spells. That's good. Monkey ball on Switch or PS5? Switch has a little bit of pop in, but you can use a GameCube controller with the notched stick. So that's how I would play. Plus, Switch is better for... Uh, multiplayer although it's only the fucking party games that are multiplayer it's bullshit so I'm not seeing anything immediately different here I'm guessing we have to the fuck was that someone knocking on the door I hope no one's trying to kill me because I don't have any we have a second floor key? I don't have any, uh, weapons. Well, I guess we could find that dresser. What 
What is ha is someone knocking on the front door? Or is the game just fucking with me? I think it might be fucking with me. The mansion beckons. Alright, let's use that key. I must have had that the whole time and just never realized. Key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. Broken second floor key. I'm gonna say that opened the door though, right? No, of course not. So I'm wondering if there was a dresser over here. God, these sound effects are spooky. I love like the creaking floor. It makes me think there's somebody like walking around by me. Was there a dresser in this room maybe? I mean, this is like his personal room. Brie Nana. It's crispy. I feel like that has to be like intentional, right? It literally sounds like someone's walking around like right next to me. Okay, I don't see a dresser in here. Welcome home. How was your axe throwing? Did you hit something? The target, not a person. You didn't die. Nothing in there. Can I figure this out now? Do I have any more information that will help me here? Is this a dresser? Knock a bitch out. It's so weird that the camera snaps like this. Maybe a passage opens if I get this puzzle right. There be dragons here. I'm so confused. It was spooky. Well, it's Halloween. It's supposed to be spooky. How'd you guys end up getting in if Grant fucked it up? I'll check uh, the other wing of the house, see if there's a dresser we can open up. That door's locked. That was the clock where the key came from. Oh, shit. This wasn't here before, right? A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of a lock. A colored sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Aw, oh, that's really nice. I'm glad your whole night wasn't fucked up. <laughs> By a silly mistake. All right, I'm not seeing anything there. Oh, is there anything between these doors? I didn't really look. Okay, nothing. Something here? Where's the dresser? Where's the dresser? A grand piano stands here, waiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano, piano fell into disuse. What am I examining here? Oh yeah, that's the, the sigils. Not particularly evident. Well, I haven't seen a locked dresser, so I'm a little confused now. Hmm. Is there anything up here? Wall is weirdly colored. Good. I'm glad. 
I was going to ask you about that if you gave it to her. Is there anything in my inventory? Can I check the book? Magic powers. Oh, I'm an idiot. We use... Okay. We use the spell. They're showing me that the spells carry over. We use the spell to repair the key. That's what they're trying to tell me. Quite clearly. Weird horse sculpture. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's face is following me. We're, we're going to examine the painting next to him. I'll knock your fucking block off. That's creepy. I don't like that very much. Is that blood on the carpet? Ooh, we found revolver ammunition. Be amazing if we had a revolver. Is this the dresser that we can open? No. The examine is for the painting above it that we can't even make out because it's so fucking dark. One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. In its place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. Do the other drawers have keyholes? Alex searches the drawer for some means of unlocking but can find none. However, the key is definitely a dresser key. More painting. Alex questions the presence of a lush landscape amidst these other morbid pieces. Could it be a single ray of hope encircling, encircled by the encroaching darkness? Okay. Journal of Maximilian Roivas. Check that in a second. Jesus Christ, man. That actually made me pee a little. Not really, but... Holy fuck. That was not what I was expecting. My heart exploded. This is a page from Maximilian Roivas' journal. It reads, Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadows of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. That scream actually fucking hurt my heart. I hate that effect of someone pounding on the door. <laughs> Grandpappy's ghost. See ya. I mean, clearly there's like a passageway here. The wallpaper in this section of the hallway is oddly marred. So the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Okay. Holy fucking shit, man. The stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden, luminous even with the faint light of the setting sun. The maiden clasps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a strange feeling, almost as if it's magical. And not really there. Glowing field of energy protects the window. I'm wondering if we get like a anti-magic spell. Can't look at this book or whatever is on the little table there. It's too dark in here to do anything. Perhaps the circuit has been broken. 